Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it. Now let's start with the summary. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty is a gripping novel that weaves together the lives of three women in a small Australian town. The story revolves around a letter that is meant to be opened only in the event of the husband's death. This letter holds a secret that has the power to change everything. Moriarty skillfully delves into the complexities of human relationships and how one decision can have a ripple effect on the lives of those involved. The characters are well developed, each with their own struggles and secrets. As the story unfolds, the reader is taken on a journey of self-discovery and moral dilemmas. The suspense builds throughout the book, keeping the reader hooked until the very end. Cecilia Fitzpatrick is a devoted wife, mother, and successful Tupperware saleswoman in the suburb of Sydney, Australia. She is married to John Paul, a successful businessman, and they have three daughters. One day, while rummaging through the attic for a school project, Cecilia discovers a letter from her husband addressed to her with instructions to open it only in the event of his death. Intrigued and slightly unnerved, Cecilia struggles with whether to open the letter or honor her husband's wishes. Tessa Leary is a single mother living in Sydney with her young son, Liam. She runs a business with her husband, Will, and her cousin, Felicity. However, Tessa's world is turned upside down when she discovers that Will and Felicity are having an affair. Heartbroken and betrayed, Tess decides to leave her husband and move back to her hometown with Liam to start over. Rachel Crowley is an elderly woman who has never recovered from the loss of her teenage daughter, Janie, many years ago. Janie was murdered, and the killer was never caught. Rachel is consumed by grief and bitterness, spending her days volunteering at a local charity shop and obsessively researching the unsolved case of her daughter's murder. She blames herself for Janie's death and harbors resentment towards her ex-husband, who left her shortly after their daughter's murder. As Cecilia grapples with whether to open the letter from her husband, she becomes increasingly curious about its contents. She begins to question the strength of her marriage and wonders if John Paul has been keeping secrets from her. Meanwhile, Tess tries to rebuild her life in her hometown, but she struggles with feelings of anger and betrayal towards her ex-husband and cousin. Rachel continues to mourn the loss of her daughter and becomes fixated on finding closure for her unsolved murder. Cecilia ultimately decides to open the letter from her husband, and what she discovers shocks her to the core. John Paul confesses in the letter that he had committed a terrible crime many years ago and had kept it a secret from her. He begs for her forgiveness and asks her to keep his secret buried forever. Cecilia is torn between loyalty to her husband and her sense of justice. She wrestles with whether to confront John Paul about his past or to keep his secret hidden. Tess struggles to move on from her failed marriage and rebuild her life for herself and Liam. She finds solace in reconnecting with her old friends and immersing herself in her work. However, she is haunted by the betrayal of her husband and cousin and struggles to trust again. Meanwhile, Rachel becomes increasingly obsessed with solving her daughter's murder and begins to take drastic measures to uncover the truth. She confronts her ex-husband and other suspects in Janie's case, desperate for closure. As Cecilia grapples with the weight of her husband's secret, she finds herself drawn to a man named Connor Whitby, who has recently moved to the neighborhood. Connor is kind and understanding, and he offers Cecilia support and companionship during this difficult time. However, Cecilia is torn between her feelings for Connor and her loyalty to her husband. She must decide whether to confront John Paul about his past and risk destroying their marriage or to keep his secret hidden and continue living a lie. Tess begins to rebuild her life and find happiness again, despite the challenges she faces as a single mother. She forms a close bond with her son, Liam, and finds fulfillment in her work and friendships. However, she is still haunted by the betrayal of her ex-husband and cousin and struggles to trust again. Meanwhile, Rachel's obsession with solving her daughter's murder leads her down a dangerous path, and she becomes increasingly desperate for closure. She takes matters into her own hands and confronts the person she believes is responsible for Janie's death. 
Cecilia is torn between her loyalty to her husband and her desire for justice. She grapples with whether to confront John Paul about his past and risk destroying their marriage or to keep his secret hidden and continue living a lie. As she struggles to make a decision, she finds herself drawn to Connor, who offers her support and understanding during this difficult time. However, Cecilia must ultimately confront her husband and come to terms with the truth of his past. Tess continues to rebuild her life and find happiness as a single mother. She forms a close bond with her son, Liam, and finds fulfillment in her work and friendships. However, she is still haunted by the betrayal of her ex-husband and cousin and struggles to trust again. Meanwhile, Rachel's obsession with solving her daughter's murder leads her down a dangerous path, and she becomes increasingly desperate for closure. She takes matters into her own hands and confronts the person she believes is responsible for Janie's death. As Cecilia grapples with the weight of her husband's secret, she finds herself drawn to Connor Whitby, who has recently moved to the neighborhood. Connor is kind and understanding, and he offers Cecilia support and companionship during this difficult time. However, Cecilia is torn between her feelings for Connor and her loyalty to her husband. She must decide whether to confront John Paul about his past and risk destroying their marriage or to keep his secret hidden and continue living a lie. In a dramatic climax, Cecilia confronts John Paul about his past and the terrible crime he committed many years ago. John Paul confesses to his actions and begs for Cecilia's forgiveness, but she struggles to come to terms with the truth. Meanwhile, Tess finds closure and forgiveness for her ex-husband and cousin, allowing her to move on and find happiness in her new life. Rachel finally uncovers the truth about her daughter's murder and finds closure after years of searching for answers. In the aftermath of the revelations, Cecilia must decide whether to stay with her husband and rebuild their marriage or to leave him and start a new life with Connor. She grapples with feelings of betrayal and forgiveness as she struggles to come to terms with the truth. Meanwhile, Tess embraces her new life as a single mother and finds fulfillment in her work and friendships. Rachel finally finds closure for her daughter's murder and is able to move on with her life, finding peace after years of grief and obsession. In the end, the three women, Cecilia, Tess, and Rachel, find closure and redemption in their own ways. They learn to forgive, let go of the past, and embrace the future with hope and resilience. The Husband's Secret is a powerful exploration of love, betrayal, forgiveness, and the secrets that can tear us apart or bring us closer together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.